good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Today it is, what day is it today? Thursday. Um, and let me just move this camera a minute. Oh, there, that's a bit better. Um, and t yesterday I did a little bit of filming and to be honest with you, it all went a bit pear-shaped. Uh, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen there yet. I did make this, however yesterday that turned out okay um i will put a few snippets maybe in this video and if you want to see how i did it then please leave some comments below i want to show you first of all i've had some new stock arrive um these are baby clothes or baby t-shirts um now these are organic 100% organic okay and they are really good quality and i've got some white ones um, and then I've got these lovely coloured ones here, look. Aren't they nice? Um, and they've got matching poppers too, and they're very, very well made. They are 200 grams uh, cotton, so, you know, they're a, a nice thickness as well. And they are super soft. Really nice. Look at that, look. Isn't that nice? So I want to try and do something, maybe with one of these today, um, and then maybe a... I might do a fluffy bunny on it. I'm not sure yet. I want to try and do something different for you guys so that you can, um, you know, learn something different each time. But I'm looking forward to doing something on there. So we've got some of these, all right? And these are, they they range in age 0 to 3 months, um, 3 to 6 months, 6 to 12 months, and 12 to 18 months, all right? And I have the nice pink colour. I have got... Some of these blue ones as well. Sorry about the focus. It keeps going in and out. Um, this colour here. They're quite nice as well. Matching poppers again. Alright. Um, that's a... What size is that? That's a 6 to 12 months. So the sizes are very good as well. Um, these are all sourced in the UK. So... Uh, you know. And we have this colour here, lovely lilac-y purple colour, okay, matching poppers again, and some plain white, there we go, oh, I really like these, uh, they need an iron, <laughs> they'd look a lot nicer pressed, but like I say, they are extremely well made, um, and they've got all the, um, they, there was a little label on there to say about it being organic, there are labels attached inside as well, to say, um, where does it say, 100% organically grown cotton, okay, and these are very, very nice I keep saying it but I'm bound to say it I suppose but no they are they are very nice so we have some white some purple some pink and some blue um, I've also got some more of these t-shirts here now these are a good um, brand as well and they are very good quality they're the straight sleeved um, but I've got these in a, a nice red um, I've got them in black Okay, I've got them in blue, a bottle green, um, a lighter green, and yellow, uh, and white. So please feel free to check out my Etsy shop for those. All the links will be down below if you want to purchase any of these. Um, I do combine postage. If you're having troubles with, trouble with the postage, just message me and I will try and sort something out with it. Okay, because sometimes, I don't know, it depends on how many you purchase. Um, so... Yeah, I will try and sort it out for you. Uh, so that's that. Um, let me think. I did buy some more threads as well the other day. I will quickly show you. Look at that. They're so nice. I love them. And I did get some of uh, this nice pink thread. Some Madeiras. The Poly Neon. Um, very good quality stuff. Um, I got some nice bright red in that and a, what other colour did I get? I think it was the blue, I'm not sure. I'll have a look a minute. Oh yeah, I opened the blue. 
That's right. Is it that one? There's that one there. Very nice quality. Very good cotton. Madeira. This is the Madeira Poly Neon, okay? Um, and it's lovely. It's like got a real nice shine to it. Um, I have tried bro threads and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with bro thread. Um, but I prefer all this stuff here. Um, so that's that. Uh, so I think I'm going to get on today and do this t-shirt. I'm going to use my little Mighty Hoop today, okay, that I purchased the other day. Uh, that's from ETC Supplies. So um, feel free to check them out. And uh, yeah. So welcome. If you're new here, my name is Kim and I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will be back with more interesting things hopefully hopefully we'll see um right i'm gonna go now so i shall see you again in a minute bye bye okay so i'm gonna go with this design here i don't know how much of this you can see um and i am gonna i put it on a 200 by 200 hoop okay which is actually my eight by nine um but on here is a 200 by 200 i want to change it to be a bit smaller because it's going on a baby's shirt so i'm gonna cursor put the cursor over that hold down my control uh, key so that the stitches can be just uh adjusted and then i'm gonna just make it bring it in make it a bit smaller uh let's just go a tiny bit smaller there and then I'm going to center it on here, go up to a range. This is within the P design program, so move to center. Okay, and when, once I put it on the machine um, over there, then I will actually go up a bit, move it up the hoop a bit. Okay, so right, I'm going to now send that to my USB. Let's put my USB in and send. There we go, all done. Okay, so it's on the USB stick now. Take that out, and now I'm going to put it onto my machine. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to change. I've changed some of my threads. I've got to re-thread now. So, bring that back there. You won't be able to see a great deal. Um, bring that down. There. Okay, so that's that re-threaded. Now I've got some pink. I fancy some blue in this, but I'm not sure. Should I do the, there's a nice purple there. That might look quite effective. Um, let's have a look. What can we change? Maybe the navy blue over there. Hmm, we haven't got any green on at the moment either. So let's think. Uh, I'll do that one. I'm going to change that back one there for some purple. Alright, now then, let's take that off. Just cut it there, pop that one on, and then tie. She says, I'm um, just tying a knot in it so that it saves me threading it all the way through. And I like to do a couple of knots because it tends to come undone when you're halfway around. So I'm going to do one more for good luck. That's three. Okay, so we've got that. Um, and then what I do is I will pull it through. So it's on number six. So we'll go down to here, find number six. There we are, and then just pull it through. It comes all the way through, feeds itself through, hopefully, and doesn't come undone. I've tied three, so three little knots. So, yeah, we've done it. And it's gone right to the end. Lovely. Saves all that hard eyesight work because my eyes are terrible. Um, and then we'll go across here to number six, bring down the threader, and hoop that in behind the little hook there and then under the threader over and then over that and snap that will cut off then press thread again and that's done so 
Uh, I think we've got our threads on there for now. I don't want to change anything else. Um, no. I wish I could have these on as well as all those. Then I wouldn't have to keep changing so much, but never mind. Right, okay. So that's our machine sorted. I'm going to now change, like I should do every time, like I said I was going to do, I'm going to change my um, attributes. I'm going to attribute the threads to the machine because at the minute it's wrong. So we're going to go into that button there. We're going to go and press, we changed uh, number three. So we're going to go to three. It says green there at the minute. We're going to reset that. Then we're going to press on a nice light pink. We'll go for that one, that one, and set it. So it's changed pink now. And then we changed the back one there, number six, to purple, didn't we? So we'll go to six. Um, is that right? Six, yeah. Oh, that's it. I had royal blue on there before, didn't I? Right, so six, we're going to reset that, and then we're going to go for a purple. So we'll go for purple. Uh, that one there, yeah. Okay, so set that. So now that is all as it needs to be. Um, yes. Yep. Okay. So, okay. Done. Now I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to redo some of these because I've changed my mind on some of the colours. So we go right the way up here. Okay. So. We have got the ears, just no, hang on, the back of the ears to start with. Um, those bits there, I'm going to do those in a light pink, so that's number three. Um, and I'm going to put my stops in as I go as well. So we've got that. Okay. That, that. Stop. Right, now his feet, that's all in white, so we're keeping all that. I probably should change the colours for the tack down so I can see what I'm doing, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go with this. Okay. Alright. Now then, a little heart I'm going to do in that bright pink there. So number four. Change that. Okay, so we've got that, and then we're going to go straight to that. Stop. 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 I like to put stops in as many places as possible. If you're around, then it's, sometimes it's ideal to do that, just so you know. You can keep checking on it. Right, the bow. Um, we've done the heart in that colour, so should we do the bow in a purple and then do the middle of the bow? Yeah, let's do purple, so we'll go for six. And then the middle of the bow, we'll go for the pink. Um, so that's that, 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 right. The little heart up here, I'm going to go for the bright pink again, number four. Or should we go for purple? swap it around a bit let's go for purple and then the little nose i'm going to do in the light pink so that's number three and then obviously the eyebrows and the eyes and everything can stay as okay so okay and embroidery let's see there we go okay so that's all set now i'm going to get my t-shirt on and get going We have, let me move this camera up so I can see what's going on. Okay, so we have, um, I've hooped my little t-shirt, okay. This is a six to 12 month t-shirt in my eight by nine hoop. That seems okay. I haven't put any uh, stabiliser underneath yet because I am gonna lie it on the machine and underneath, oh, above the arm and underneath the shirt instead of hooping it, okay? Saves me faffing about with it inside the shirt. It works for me, okay? I'm gonna get some tear away, uh, not tear away, some cutaway stabilizer. Um, seeing so that's what I've been using lately. Um, I had a habit of using the tear away stabilizer and it, it worked for me, it was okay. So, you know, 
Right, that's okay. Have a piece of that. This is the fusible one, okay? So what I'm going to do is make sure the fusible side is up that way so that it, when you, you know, put it in and we heat press it, it fuses to the fabric, okay? So that's that. So that's all ready to go on the machine. So let's go over and pop that on the machine. I'll take you with me. Yeah. Right, so hi, I'm going to pop that. Make sure this has got a label attached. I'm not sure if I need to take that off or not, but we'll see if it gets in the way. So make sure your back of your neck is underneath the arm. This is for this multi needle. And look, I've got to change the just got to change the settings for this because it's not quite right. To the next one, there's little um, notches there for you to. It shows you where your next placement is for, as with regards to what hoop size you're using. So, okay. Now then, put that under there. Always make sure that your screws at the back here are tight. Don't over tighten them, but make sure they're not loose because otherwise that will make this not work or jump about and it won't be doing it very much good. Okay, so make sure everything's out of the way from everything there. Yep. And now I'm going to get my stabiliser and I'm going to pop it in here. I might need to cut this a little bit smaller, we'll see. Um, might be alright. I don't want it, you know, rutching up. Rutching up, if that's, if that, if that's a word. Okay, so that feels alright. So that will catch. Okay, so... That there will be all ready now to start, but I'm going to go over first and we're going to go and put some heat and bond on our fabrics. Okay, so I haven't as yet put my heat press on, so I'm going to pop that on. Just set that going a minute. Um... I'm going to use I'm going to use some of this stuff here. This is a polar fleece and I sell this in my Etsy shop. So that's going to be for the face and I'm going to use some of this blanket that I purchased um for the body. Uh right. I don't know if I already had some of this actually already um heat and bonded. Let's have a look. Uh these are my bits. Yes, I have. That might be enough. Mm, no, I'm not going to risk it. It might not be enough, so we won't risk it. I love that colour there. It's nice. Right, okay. So, let's cut a piece of this and get our heating bond. Here's all the fabrics over here. I don't know if you can see all this, but there's some fabrics and stuff um, that are going to be going on to my Etsy shop as well. So feel free to check those out. Uh, let's get a piece of this. That should be enough for that bit. This heat and bond will help adhere your fabric to your shirt, okay? This stuff here, when you're cutting it, be careful because the fibres that can come off, well, I can't say that they'd be very good for you, um, especially if you've got asthma or something, but if you're gentle, then they won't fly about the room, hopefully. But it is messy stuff. Okay, so, pop it on that way round. We'll get that on the heat press in a minute. Okay, that's that. I think that's all we're going to need. Because I'm using this for the legs and the face. And that for the body. So... Make sure I've got the right way around that I want. I think I'm going to have... I 
I think I'll have it that way around. Right, you can pick and choose what way around you want it. I don't think it will matter. So, I'll get that on in a minute. Hopefully, the machine will be hot enough. Right, let's uh, just move that back over there a minute. You can do this with an iron, you don't need a heat press for this. Usually I'll pop that on over the top to protect the fleece, but it actually doesn't seem to affect it too much. So we'll get that heated for a minute. I have a Facebook group now, um, there's a few members. So please feel free to give it a join and you can um, put all your um, embroidery items on there to show people, you can ask for help, you can, obviously we need to build a, a, you know, a bigger following to get as much help as we can, but you can also put your uh, websites on there, as long as it's to do with embroidery um, or sewing. It's called the uh, it's called Machine Embroidery and Sewing Community. Okay, so peel that off. There we go. That's that and again that one. Here we go. So we have. I'm going to turn the heat press off because I don't like it left on all the time. It gets too hot in here. So we've got that. Let's go back over to the machine now. Right. Let's get our thing going. Uh, Lock. you can see, can't really see a great deal, uh, try and get you as close in as possible. I'll try and cut as close as I can to that stitch. I haven't got the spotlight on so I might put that on in a minute. Let me see a bit better. That's going to be covered up by the fluffy bit there so. Right okay so I'll pop that back on the machine. Always be mindful when you put it back on the machine, check underneath and make sure that there's nothing is going to get caught. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. Stop. We've got to lay a bit of fleece on there. Right, okay, this is not going to be that easy to see, um, but I'm going to do my best. I don't know how much you can see. Uh, I'm using my actual proper camera now instead of my phone, so I think though with the camera, for some reason, it zooms in and out like, wow, well, it's a bit of a pain. I think I prefer my phone to be honest with you. Um, but yes. Right, so we're going to get in as close as we can to the edge. I haven't used any wash away. If you want to use wash away on the top, you can. That's that plasticky stuff that you would lie on top before stitching. Um, I. I've chosen not to use it. I have used it in one of my videos on the facial features for the teddy bear in the hoop. Um, yeah. So, what's that? Okay. It's pretty close to the edge. I will clear all this mess up afterwards.
Let's have a look. Put that side on. I'm not used to this camera at the minute. I don't know if there's a way to stop it from losing focus all the time or not. So I do apologize if it keeps going in and out of focus. If it carries on, I will I will at some point try to look into it and I don't know, learn a bit more about it. But it's everything's at all time, isn't it? Um like yesterday, I wasted such a long time yesterday doing stuff that really didn't get me anywhere. Um, I did, however, make a... Uh, do, I did an order for a sweatshirt, a man's sweatshirt with a Spitfire on it. And that worked out well, thank God, because the sweatshirt was expensive, so I didn't want to mess that up. Um... It can get pretty costly sometimes when you're making mistakes with this embroidery because sometimes there's just no going back. Once you've uh, done something, it's hard to, it's not always easy to rectify it. Uh, all right, okay, I'm gonna pop that back on the machine now. the light on so it's a little bit more uh, brighter in here when you're doing this next layer obviously you've got to be mindful of if you're using the furby fabric just be mindful of the furry fabric underneath you don't want to chunk into it um, and take big chunks of it out if you're careful then you can avoid that I'm going to put them back on now and get the other arm done.
last piece out. Close to the edge. I'm going to pop that back on the machine now. There. And it's finished so we're going to pop that back on the table now and have a look let's have a look uh, tidy it up a bit let's get some tape and get rid of the fluff There we go, done. It doesn't look too bad, does it? It's quite nice actually. Um, I'll pop my heat press on. Heat that up a minute. So we can press this. lovely that nice look at that look looks all right doesn't it uh let's take this off the back here now i did go a little bit array there array look at that look see that's because i didn't hoop it i did not hoop my stabilizer but it's not going to hurt it. 
this is going to be for my granddaughter that's due in any time sooner actually so um, it's not for a customer so anyway this will cover up be covered this will be covered by the tender touch so Just be careful when you are cutting this away that you're not going to cut into the shirt because um, it is easily done. Yeah, I want to get as much off as I can. I'll put some tender touch over the top of that and tidy that up a bit. But first of all, I'm going to press it this way around because I want to adhere the fabric to the shirt. Um, I think I'm going to take that label off. Doesn't need to stay on there. These labels here, you can tear out and pop your own labels in for these shirts. Okay, these are available on my Etsy shop. Um, okay, so I'm going to give it a quick press. I'll take you with me. I think the camera battery is going to die relatively soon, but I've. I'll just use my phone if it does. Fluff just gets absolutely everywhere. Maybe I could use a piece of that on there. Yes. There we go. Ugh. I love the pink. I think that looks really, really nice. I'm so pleased with that. And I am going to pop this on the top here just to give it a little bit of protection. No, give that a quick press. There we go. We have it. One applique lamb t-shirt and um, that looks pretty nice and I like the colour of the shirt itself as well um, and that goes pretty well I don't know what that let me have a look see if I can get a better focus on this uh, that is te ah there we go yeah doesn't that look good isn't that nice yeah I'm quite pleased with that not very pleased with the focusing on this camera mine, but yeah. And I like these t-shirts as well. They are, you know, like I say, they're very nice quality. Um, yeah, that looks nice. Quite pleased with that. Yeah. Let's have a look, give it a fold. There, tiny t shirt, a baby t shirt. There, nice. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did. I know it's just another fluffy applique. I do apologize, I did have uh, another idea which I started out to do yesterday and it went a bit tits up. It was crap um i think i threw it in the bin actually oh unless it's around here Is it? oh yes it's in here it's in the rubbish bin um i attempted to make a what you call a bib a bib all right now this is totally my fault okay nothing to do with you know the design or anything i have been very lazy actually I could, probably could have got that end out there but look that is my bib 
not very good um i didn't finish it obviously it didn't sew up the ends maybe if i pressed it and poked that end out a bit more i wonder if i could poke it let's have a look what can i use to poke it with again i tried i did try poking it all out yesterday but in the end i was so hot i just gave up um this was meant to be a really good video but turned into a pile of pile of anyway um but i hope you enjoyed today's video uh i will endeavor to do one of these bibs but i don't know why i don't know why it's not turning the right way round not the right way round. yeah the right way round i've i poked i poked the thing right in the hole but it just won't seem to maybe if i push it back the other way again and we'll try again shall we let's just have a quick go um this has been in the bin well it's not a dirty bin it's only full of uh material ends and stuff now i can't even poke it in the right way the wrong way <laughs> oh my god what what a look at that look oh hang on i felt movement then hang on Oh, come on. Oh, oh, look. <laughs> now, there we go. I couldn't get that lot through. So I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? Let's see if I can try it now. Maybe if I go right to the end and then pull through. Do you think that's going to work? If I go like that, maybe. I spent ages doing this yesterday. It's not going to do it, is it? If I can, it's not going to do it. Is it? Is it? Go on. Go on. Oh, flipping it. Anyone else got any like really like clever ideas of how to how to? do this because I can't and it's doing my head in I really wanted to make some of these bibs but I don't think I'm capable oh hang on hang on there he goes <laughs> oh oh poke through the end hmm no I don't oh. um, it says on the instructions to you you can use two to three bits of material and I use three Oh, hang on, there's still a bit more to come out. There we go. I thought it looked a bit fat on the end. Hang on. Oh, there we go. It's coming. Ah. Oh, there we go. Right, so... I managed to get it. Oh. Huh. Now then, who would like to make a lovely bib? yeah tell me put it in the comments down below if you'd like to make one of these let me know and we'll go through it properly okay i did make a video but i haven't i'm not putting it on because it all went like i say wrong um i think i'm gonna go and give this a quick press and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna see what it looks like then actually it doesn't look too bad there we go all right all i had to do all i have to do is sew those bits there sew that together and then pop a bit of Velcro on there for that, so that closes. Um, actually, not too bad at all. I will actually do a tutorial making one of these, but you can get, there's two sizes. Um, with the design, with this design, you'll get this one and you'll get the frayed edge one. Okay, um, but yeah, so there we go. That's that. Um, oh screws have fallen off the chair so i'm actually sitting on it and there are loose screws on the floor i'll show you Whew. these two come off so i don't know if this if what i'm sitting on is uh, secure but never mind i'll have to fix it later um i already trod on a plug the other day and my foot has got a nice big chunk in the middle of it 
and out of it and it hurts like hell uh i did go for a walk earlier um and was hobbling so hmm. anyway 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 I, i've got to stop saying that because that's all i say anyway and right right anyway okay uh that's the bib so that didn't turn out too bad after all so i will maybe do a proper tutorial on that um and as for today, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am going to go now and do something else. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely wonderful. I would really appreciate that. Uh, don't forget to check out all the links down below. Uh, my Etsy shop, there's um, a couple of Facebook pages down there. And obviously for the design for this lamb. All right. And I will see you again soon. So... Have a good day, good night, good evening, whatever. All right, I'm going. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.